Okay, hello again from Literacy Volunteers of West Virginia, Harrison County, West Virginia. Today I'm not going to read you a book, I'm going to tell you a story that probably you know. But it's about some bears and they had a visitor. And I want you to, at the end, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. So, as we know, there was Papa Bear, there was Mama Bear, and there was baby bear. And the three bears, when they got up in the morning, cooked their porridge. Now in England they call oatmeal porridge, but they were cooked their porridge and they decided to go for a walk while the porridge was cooking. So they're out of the house and right after they left, a little girl was walking through the woods and she was hungry, so she said something smelled good. So she went in the house, and they call her Goldilocks, because look at her nice curls. So Goldilocks came in the house, and she saw the three bowls of porridge. Well, she tried one, and it was too cold. That was in the big bowl. Then she looked in the medium-sized bowl, and that one was too hot. So then she tried in the little tiny bowl, and it was just right. So she ate the whole bowl, right down to nothing left in the bowl. So then she got sleepy. So she went up the stairs, and there were three beds in a row. So she tried the big bed, and it was much too hard. So she went to the medium-sized bed, and that one was much too soft. So she tried the little tiny bed, and that one was just right. So she curled up and went to sleep. That was Miss Little Goldilocks was upstairs in the bear's bed. Okay, so we're going to put her down. And a little bit later, the three bears came back in the house. Papa Bear said, somebody has been eating my porridge. Mama Bear said, somebody's been eating my porridge. And the baby bear looked in his bowl. And he said, they were eating it. They ate it all up, all gone. Oh my. So then they decided they better go upstairs. So they went upstairs and Papa Bear said, somebody has been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Baby Bear said, Somebody's sleeping in my bed and she's still here. Well, with all that noise, up pops Goldilocks. And she was so startled, she ran out of the house. And then the bears stayed in their house. Okay, now here's my question. Boys and girls, I wanna know. Here's Goldilocks. And she has these beautiful curls. When she was born, I'm sure she didn't have good curls. What do you suppose her real name is? I think Goldilocks is a nickname for when she grew up and she had curls. So I want you to write us, and where's my card? Wait a minute. Excuse me, I didn't have my prop. Here's my address. I want you to write to us at LVHC, that stands for Literacy Volunteers of Harrison County, at LVHC.org. So I'll leave that there for a minute. I want you to write there and say, Miss Jody. Now I spell Jody with a Y, J O D Y. Miss Jody, I think that Goldilocks, when she was born, had another name. So if you know what her name is, you write us and you tell us what your name is. Now, we know that Red Riding Hood went through the woods with a basket to feed her grandmother, but we don't know anything about Goldilocks. Where did she come from? After she ran out of the bear's house, where do you think she went? It never says. Any book that I've said never says, where did Miss Goldilocks go? She looks a little sad. I don't know what she wanted to do. So if you'll write us to lvhc at lvhc.org, there's the address, and say, Miss Jody, 
I think she went and just give us an idea. We'd like to know if you would come through and tell us some ideas of where pretty little Miss Goldilocks went after she ran out of the bear's house. Thank you for coming this time and we'll talk to you next time and I'm looking forward to hearing from you.